good to see you Let's sing those old songs Just like we used to do Happy birthday. How old am I? 60. 60. Yeah, I am. We're singing now. Sha -la 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 -la. Sha -la Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear boy. Happy birthday. To you. Holy cow, how did I blow that thing? Morning, Will. Huh? He was Will getting help. his belt. Help me, Von, or help me. Woo! Damn, I still got it. I still got it. Get him, get him. No. Get him. Get him. Get him. And I still help me get hurt. <laughs> Bentley spent the day at Larry's birthday party, so I'm curious how it went with Ryan. How was it seeing your dad? Mm, good. I mean, I got to give him the um, card for the. Wait, you did? Yeah. Card for the what? Like therapy. Oh, his therapist card. Mm. That's cool. How'd, How'd it that go? go? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said he would call him on Monday. That's awesome. You feel like 500 pounds got lifted off your shoulders? Yeah. I bet. That's a big deal, man. It is. I mean, you can talk to your therapist about it, but I think no matter what happens from here, you know, you did your part. You did much more than should have ever had to be done. I just got up here. I'm up here in the top of the mountains where I have service right now. Did you get my text message? No. It's just been really rough with Bronx. He's got to have therapy. He's got to have help. He's four years old. He bit his teacher. I mean, he's a kid. He's going to grow out of it. I just... Oh, can you hear me? Oh, Lord, help me. I'm upset that Josh and I don't agree on therapy, but I have to follow my instincts for Bronx's sake. So I'm going to talk to a highly recommended therapist and see what she says about our situation. Dr. Emily Sheets' office. This is Emily. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I have am having some issues with my four-year-old son. What is he doing? He's constantly showing anger, um, refusing to follow rules and questioning authority, and I did not realize that was quite an issue until I put him in school. And they have called me every day saying he's biting the teacher, he's drew blood to a kid, and it's so bad that these kids are going home with bite marks on them. Poor guy, mm -hmm. he's, he's having a hard time. So he's reacting in a, in a expected or predictable way to probably being overwhelmed with stress or, or just changed. He's went through a lot of change this year. My mother um, died of cancer and it was kind of shocking to us all. Um, me and his father have been very rocky. I've left him several times and left him to come here from Oklahoma to Florida. So he moved away from all of his cousins and stuff and, and then went straight to school. These are all significant life changes for all of you, for you, for him, for your other children. And you're coping without probably a lot of the family support that you had before. He definitely um, really misses his dad. We're 18 hours away. And when his dad is here visiting, he does not potty in his pants. Is that a normal thing? Yes, that's called regression. When a child is overwhelmed by stress or sadness or any sort of emotion, they almost always regress to a previous stage of behavior. So we'll see kids who have been toilet trained forever start to have accidents, um, it's very normal. Right, so when you meet with 
with people, do you meet with just the child, with the child and the mom? Usually the child and the mom. I do play therapy, kind of direct play therapy with some puppets or some stuffed animals. And I see if um, we can get a feel for where some of those trigger issues are and then have some replacement behaviors we can offer him. When you're really little, you don't have the words usually. He's actively asking for help. And so we're going to help him. I just think there's a lot of misinformation that's been said. There was always an, an excuse. I'm priority, and I'm not getting my one-on-one -on -one time. What are you talking about? You don't have girls that you don't do things. All of a sudden, you want to. You know, you don't like going to the house. You don't like to go out to eat. Yeah, for about a half a year, I chose to just be a hermit for good reason, I think. It's not about your drama and my drama. It's about Leah. What? I'm done. Today, hey. I had talked with Amber, and she's like saying, you and Christina hindered my relationship with my daughter. It's like all of a sudden, you wanted to start doing stuff with Leah. Is all of a sudden, like, after how long, you know? <sighs> Leah wants to give up, and you're the one that's encouraging it. Like, ongoing. And I mean, I support that. Like, I want her to have a relationship with her mom, but I also want Amber to follow through and put Leah, one, or for once, first. Look, Leah's just hurt. She is, and it all stems from the past. It stems from, you know, her going to prison and then getting out of prison and she got with Matt and pushed Leah to the side. Then, oh, comes back to Leah, but then gets with Andrew and pushes Leah again to the side, like. Well, I just have a problem when she's, you know, starts bad-mouthing you. How she's like, saying, you know, Christian needs to like scoot over. Basically, basically saying that because she, wasn't there as a mother and now it's somebody else's fault. She feels threatened, but I mean, I've never been there to step on her toes. I've never been there mm -hmm. to replace and Amber's her. not gonna wake up every day, take Leah to school. I wish she was a little more respectful and grateful for what you do for Leah. And even what I do, I mean, yesterday I took her and got her flu shot. Today I took her to the dentist. Like, Amber don't do those things. I mean, she can badmouth me all she wants, but guess I can sleep at night knowing that I've done good by Leah. And if it wasn't for me, then Leah wouldn't have a mom still in her life. You know what I mean? Well, nice. when you think about this, how long did it take Leah to talk to her? 12 years to talk to her own mother about the way she was feeling, to get it off of her chest. It took her 12 years. Yeah. Ugh. I'm over it. You make a good role model, Christina. Thank you. I just hate Leah feeling the pain of like the abandonment or whatever she feels like. No 12 year old should ever feel like that. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay! <laughs> I love my baby!